All right, guys, welcome back to my Reacts. Today, we've got a great one for you. You guys enjoyed the Buddy Brown video that I did recently. I happen to absolutely love him, and I really like uh, looking at his new stuff. But this is quite an old one. This is from over a year ago. It's called Buddy Brown Tells a Biden Joke, and we can't stop laughing. So I'm excited to see what this is about, because I really find his sense of humor to be quite funny. And of course, if you're not really politically in line with him, that's absolutely fine. You might not find his content that funny, but it's got two and a half, uh, two, just over two million views. So. I assume people are identifying with what he's saying and, and really, really understanding and finding him funny. So I personally agree. Um, let's see what it's all about. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you hit the notification bell, you won't miss out on any new content. You wouldn't want to, right? Um, and you can check out in the description below my Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter. The Patreon is the one you should definitely go for. It's $5 per month. But Instagram and Twitter, you can go ahead and, um, and uh, follow me there. Absolutely completely free. And you can see anything that I've got to say there. Just started up now. So hopefully you enjoy the content that I've been putting out on there. Mostly consistent on shorts and, and short tweets. But let's get to this video and let's see what Buddy Brown has to say uh, in terms of his Joe Biden joke. Let's, let's, let's go for it. What's going on, y'all? Story time. <laughs> so it is September of 2024, all right? And Joe Biden is about 32 points. Uh, wait, wait. Have you seen his, his T-shirt? Stomp on my flag and I'll stomp your ass. Uh, I, I like that. I like that a lot. I'll, I'll, is that his own merch? I, I like it anyway. Behind his opponent. And he's freaking out. He calls everybody into the Oval Office. And he says, we got to figure out what's going on. And you got until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning to let me know how we're going to get back in this race. So 8 o'clock comes tomorrow morning. And everybody walks in. His poll folks, his handlers, everybody. Vice President <laughs> says, what do we got to do? They said, well, sir, we figured out the problem. It's just because no blue-collar folks are going to vote for you, okay? The blue-collar folks don't like you. The country boys really don't like you. And the rednecks just flat out hate you. But we figured out what we can do. Joe? We are going to send you on a duck hunt down in Mississippi. We're going to have it on Fox News, and we're going to have it live. Everybody's going to see you, and they're going to say, he's a good old boy just like us. Joe said, this might be brilliant, y'all. So he gets on a plane. He gets on Air Force One from D.C., and he goes and lands in Vicksburg, Mississippi. They got a pair of duck waiters waiting for him when he gets there to the airport, and they head off to the most beautiful honey hole you ever saw in your entire life. He's got a secret service behind the duck blind and duck waiters. He's got four rednecks on the right side of him, and Joe's got four rednecks on the left side of him. He's holding a shotgun and a big old wad of red man chewing tobacco in his left cheek. He has never felt like this much of a man in his entire life. All of a sudden, some ducks start circling, and they're coming in. They said, get ready, Mr. President. They're getting closer. They're getting closer. They're coming back in. All of a sudden, they said, cut him, Mr. President. He goes, boom. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he thinks he's got one, but the duck is just clipped. And it gets lower and lower and lower, and then, oh, hell, falls on the neighbor's barn next door. So the cameras are still rolling live, and Joe's got to walk over there and retrieve his duck. His entire presidency is riding off, finding this duck and looking like a good old boy so he can get them 32 points back. Goes up to the farmer's gate, and this farmer is waiting for him, and he looks like he's got a pretty good grouch on him. He says, excuse me, Mr. Farmer, I, uh, I shot a duck, and he landed on top of your barn. Farmer said, what's that got to do with me? He said, well, i got to get that duck back. He said, no, you know what, Joe? Once that duck landed on top of my barn and crossed my property line, that became my duck. Well, Joe is seeing this goes going south real, real fast. He kind of looks around. He's real nervous. The cameras are still rolling. He said, look, is there any kind of agreement that we can reach here so that I can get my duck back? The farmer thinks about it for a minute. And he goes, yeah, I believe there is. I'm going to kick you in the nuts as hard as I possibly can. Then you can kick me in the nuts. And we'll just trade places going back and forth, kicking each other in the nuts until the last one is standing. And whoever is standing at the very, very end gets to have the duck. Well, this is a moment of truth, y'all. I mean, duck, Joe is sitting here thinking, if I'm a man and if the cameras are rolling, if I'm the leader of the free world, I can take a hit, right? So he says, Secret Service, stand down. I'm agreeing to your proposal, Mr. Farmer. Mr. Farmer says, okay, good. I'll go first. Bam! <laughs> he just whacks him as hard as he possibly can. Joe hits the ground. He's screaming every obscenity in the book. He is hollering. He's crying. He's grabbing his nuts. He ain't never felt so much pain in his entire life. Five minutes goes by. 10, 15, 20, about a half hour, Joe's Secret Service finally picks him up by the bottom of the armpits and lifts him to his feet. He's out of breath. 
He can barely speak. He can barely talk. He got nothing in him. He said, well, Mr. Farmer, I, I suppose it's, it's my turn now to, to kick you in the nuts. And the farmer says, no, that's all right, Joe. You can have the duck. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite funny. Do you reckon he came up with that by himself? Because if he did, it's absolutely great. I, I, I would want, I would want to know if he can. I'm assuming he did. He's got a great sense of humour. But the thing is, is that that's just a joke, and it shouldn't be taken in a political context. It might be about the president, but we're allowed to joke about the president. We're allowed to joke about anyone who we want to. He didn't say anything offensive. It was just good, just good country humour. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Um, and. What I got most of it was, or mostly, was he uh, genuinely, he told it really, really well. I was actually engaged in the story. Like, I was sitting there and I was actually genuinely engaged by the way he was talking, the story that he was telling. Absolutely loved it. I really think that um, he should do more of these things. He should have his own stand-up. But I think a, a big part of that is the, um, the way he speaks. I think his southern dialect... Uh, the way it comes out, it makes things more interesting. It sort of flows nicely in the conversation and, and the story flows so well. And I would hazard a guess that he's a genuinely great storyteller. I don't know if he's got kids. I'm assuming he doesn't have kids. Well, I don't know why I'm assuming that. He very well most likely does have kids. I don't know how old Buddy Brown is. Um, but I, I think he's really, really funny. I bet he, if he's got kids, I bet he tells a great story to them. I bet they absolutely love him. Um, genuinely, though, absolutely hilarious guy. Uh, the, it had that country kind of feel to it the, 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 the story did anyway and I think anyone can find that funny whether you like Joe Biden or you don't like Joe Biden who cares, it's a funny story You know, get over the fact that it's about a president there's so many jokes and so much hatred towards other presidents people make jokes about George Bush all the time people make jokes about Barack Obama and, and President, um, president Trump all the time it, it just is what it is You know, um, get over it, it's a free country, you have your freedom of speech it's actually just genuinely good humour if someone told that story about Donald Trump, people on the left would absolutely love it. But because it's now on the right hand, now it's about Joe Biden, people on the left think that it's, it's, a, it's a dig against Joe Biden and vice versa. People on the right would get really upset if it was about Donald Trump. It's just a joke, guys, and it's fun. And it's, look, I'm a British guy. I don't have a horse, I don't have a horse in this race, you know. I don't have a pony in this race. I don't care um, who likes who and who doesn't like the other person. I have my own beliefs, yes, for sure. But at the moment, nothing that happens in the United States is directly affecting my life until I move there. So I think it's important that we just laugh at the funny stuff that people say. And I think this is great humor. And I think we should continue watching stuff like this. It really diffuses situations and it's just a great story. It's a great story. Of course, it's not a real story. It's just a, it's just a story. It's a humorous story and I absolutely love it. But that was absolutely great. I love Buddy Brown. I bet he's, he's got so many more videos that I really need to react to and watch. Um, I would just sit here watching them all day long by myself, but there's no point in me doing that without you guys seeing my reaction to them and you guys get to maybe experience something new with me that you may not have seen before from Buddy Brown. Because so I think he's really, really great. I think he should be more widely watched. And I think um, you guys, if you guys haven't seen it, it'd be something interesting for you guys to, uh, to watch and to listen to and, and we can enjoy it together. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this uh, video and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any recommendations specifically for Buddy Brown, that I should react to, leave them down in the comments. That could be music, that could be just him talking, or his truck sessions even. Because I really, really like him. I think he's a great guy, he's a good old boy, and uh, he's someone I could definitely get a beer with. And that's really all you're looking for from someone who's entertaining you on YouTube. Just who could you have a beer with? Who's Who who, who could you possibly you know have a great time with? And I think he seems like one of them. Um, I bet he's been on a few duck hunts himself in his, in his time, and I, I bet he's never got kicked in the nuts by one of his neighbors, but. <laughs> <laughs> Great story guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you on the next video and if you really want to support this channel you can leave a super thanks, any donation absolutely helps the channel and $5 is all it's going to cost you to subscribe to Patreon and you'll find great stuff there as well. So I'll see you on the next one guys, have a great day.